Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and today we're going to be checking out the Westgate Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Westgate was formerly the International Hotel, which opened in 1969. It was the former home and controversial residency of the King, Elvis Presley. I only know all this because I saw the Elvis movie. It was a great movie, by the way. Currently now in 2022, Westgate is a timeshare vacation ownership property, but you could also reserve rooms by the night as a hotel as well. And you could catch a Barry Manilow concert. He currently has his residency there. One of my favorite features about the Westgate Resort was the monorail system. The station was located right in front of check-in. On this 10-day trip, I was traveling alone, so trying to find resorts and transportation that felt safe to me was very important. I personally found the monorail system to be a very easy, safe, and reasonably priced way to get around Las Vegas. It goes down the strip all the way to MGM, Grand, and it'll go past Westgate to Sahara. So it covers a lot of turf, so you can see a lot of different resorts in a short amount of time. We'll see and discuss the monorail a little bit more later in this video round. We're going to go check in. I was coming from MGM Grand, which has a monorail station too, so this was super convenient for me. I'm very excited about this trip because I'm a Westgate owner. I don't own here. I own in Orlando, Florida at Westgate Vacation Villas. The lobby was very large and beautiful. It wasn't a big line or anything, but they sent me to the owner's lounge to check in. I quickly realized <laughs> right after check-in that I was here for a party weekend. I was here for the Blues Bender. Man, these people were having fun. <laughs> they were all nice and having a great time. Only problem is everything else is closed to the general public, pools, showrooms, everything. So find out ahead of time if you're going to Westgate on a weekend, because if they're having something like this, you may not be able to use the facility. Okay, now let's go check out and see the room that they gave me. Uh, I was a little shocked and disappointed. I had booked this room through Interval International. I think I paid $300. It was a platinum getaway for the whole week. So that part of it, I thought it was great. I thought it was a good value, but it wasn't what I was expecting. It said that it was gonna be a kitchenette, a sitting area. I was expecting like a studio, but it wasn't that, it was a hotel room. So I called down and I, you know, I questioned it and they said um, very nicely that, you know, you don't get, if you are an owner at Westgate, it does not matter. You're going to get put into the hotel room. The only way you're going to get to stay in the timeshare part, which is beautiful from the pictures I saw, and I thought that's where I was going to stay, is if you're an owner at this particular resort. But look at this cool elevator. It's the next morning and we're going to go check out the resort. Um, I really hate saying negative things and I'm not even saying a negative thing, negative thing. I really enjoyed my stay there. I just like to be up front because people should know I'm pretty cool, but other people would be devastated if they found out they were expecting something and they weren't, it wasn't delivered. Westgate is also a casino and they have a lot of fun games. I'm going to show you a couple very brief games that I played and then we're going to take a tour. The casino was very large and it had a lot of different games as well. These were some of my favorites. Uh, I did pretty well on Ocean Magic and also um, the Game of Thrones. But this one, the Wheel of Fortune, I don't know. It's been pretty mean to me lately. It's time to give the wheel a spin. After throwing all my winnings from the other two games Big into money. this machine, Big it finally money. gave me the bonus. And it gave me $5. Like, what? So I got mad and I got up and I stomped around like a little toddler <laughs> and pouted and decided to take a tour instead. It is beautiful. I highly recommend going out in the morning, really early in the morning. This is probably like 7 a.m. Everybody else was out partying all night. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping now. Well, Westgate is a great place. Like if you're looking for a place to get married, they have beautiful facilities here. They also, right next door, you could get a tattoo. And right after that, you could also go play the piano. <laughs> I wonder if Barry Manilow comes and plays out here after his shows. <laughs> now I'm going to show you where the shuttle is. There is a shuttle that will take you daily to the Treasure Island on the Strip. And it also, in the evening, take you to Fremont Street. This is all free, too, with your stay. So that's an awesome perk. I have had so much to say so far. This is like two of my favorite topics, casinos and timeshares. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, my name is Jennifer Sparks and I travel all the time and I'm obsessed with casinos and timeshare living. So this is a double whammy for me. 
Thank you so much for all of you that are subscribed and for all of you that are still watching this. We still have another 15 minutes. We're gonna go by the restaurants and the stores. I'm gonna take you up to the pool. I'm gonna bring you back out to the monorail and explain how all this all works. So stick around and thank you so much for hanging out with me. Are you personally an owner at Westgate? Let me know in the comments below what resort you own at and when you bought it and how your experience has been. I have personally been an owner since 1990. I went to a meeting because I wanted free Universal Studios <laughs> tickets and ended up buying it and has, I personally have used the heck out of it. This right here is pretty close to check-in. It's kind of like their Starbucks of the property. There is no Starbucks here, but they have this. It has little sandwiches, coffees, yogurt, that kind of thing, you know. There is also a liquor store on site. It's overpriced, but very convenient. It's nice that they have one. There's a lot of star memorabilia around. Barbara Streisand, actually, when the International Hotel opened, she had a contract here as well before Elvis. I was just one then, so I really don't remember any of that. <laughs> I love Barbara. Barbara Streisand and Elvis and Barry Manilow. I just love this place. If you're looking for a cheaper night out, they also have a lounge with free entertainment. Here's an ad for the current shows that are available. And we're gonna take a little walk around their little restaurant row there. They have a few restaurants that are only open for dinner. So here's a little peek into those. This is in the morning, they are not open yet. Later in the week, I dined here at Fresco's. It's an Italian restaurant. I will show you that a little later in the video. Then there's this. <laughs> this is like where the ballroom is. I know they were having the conventions over here. I don't know, a lot of people probably maybe think this looks dated. I was so drawn to this. I know a lot of hotels in Las Vegas are really new and really beautiful and really fancy, but this is so historic. It's just, it, I just was blown away. I absolutely love just hanging around over here. One of my favorite things about Westgate for sure. to go see where Barry Manilow plays. <laughs> I tried to get in there, but I couldn't. <laughs> Believe me, if I could, I would have. <laughs> uh, and he wasn't playing here at the time. Otherwise, I would have went to go see him for sure. So now I'm going to take you through a walk through the casino. We're going to go check out the race book and we're going to look for somewhere to dine for breakfast. I'm going to use this moment to talk about Westgate's location, which is the best and the worst thing about it. <laughs> it's, it's not really next to anything. There's not another casino next door. You either drive here or you take the monorail here or a cab or something. It's not like it's, you know, you're gonna walk from the hotel next door here. I loved it. I felt very safe there. Um, you know, I, I used the monorail for everywhere I wanted to go. I thought it was great. Here's a look into Sid's Cafe. This place is beautiful. Loved it. We're gonna have breakfast there in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Another thing I was very impressed with, with Westgate Resort and Casino is the sports book. I don't even watch sports, <laughs> but I've seen enough of them to know that this one was very, very special. It was huge. The poker room, not so much. It wasn't, that wasn't very impressive. But this one had a food court that sort of followed along the side of it. It was very big. It was very chill. I don't know, I was kind of like, it kind of made me want to to go to the sports book and hang out. Let's put it that way, which I never did, but you know, there's always next time.
Right near the sports book was the buffet. It was the weekend, so they were serving brunch. They were just opening, and they were kind enough to let me go in there and film it. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to spring for a brunch. I was kind of like, I don't know. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I kind of just want an egg sandwich kind of feeling. <laughs> but I was grateful to be able to get in there and see what the offerings were. There was a very large variety, and I loved how spread out everything was. It didn't feel like a really cramped place. There was a lot of seating, and I definitely wanted to go back later in the week, and I never made it. But there's always next time. I'm actually flying to Las Vegas in two days, and I'm so excited. I'm not planning on staying at Westgate this time, but I'm hoping to at least come for a visit. Coming with my husband Kelly this time, we're going to be renting a car. We're staying for two weeks. We're going to be checking out the Christmas festivities. We're going to be going to Laughlin, Nevada, Summerlin, Red Rocks. We're staying at Tahiti Village this time, which is a timeshare, but it is not a casino. So I made my way back to Sid's Cafe because the place was drawing me in. It's just lovely and it's beautiful. And I just like, I, I just really wanted an egg sandwich and to sit there and have a really good coffee and a nice quiet ambiance. And that, it was, all of it. And now I'm gonna be taking you guys out to the pool deck. You have to go on a certain elevator, I can't remember which one, <laughs> or what floor you have to go on to to get to this pool area out here. It is awesome. I gotta say, for a Vegas pool at a timeshare, I was very impressed. Walking out, I was noticing these rooms. I'm like, wow, they got the, their own little patios that go out to the pool. That is super convenient. I don't know if that was part of the timeshare, if those are an upgraded room. This right over here, that was for the festival that was going on. Like I said, for the first couple days, I was not allowed to even come into this pool area. That was a drag. But I had the whole week, so it wasn't a big deal for me. But if I was only going for the weekend, I would have been really disappointed if I couldn't get into the pool at all. The cabanas were nice and big and spacious. They're an extra charge, but they're not as much as, say, like if you were staying at Paris or Mandalay Bay or one of those other places. They're more reasonable. Uh, I believe even if you're a Westgate owner, you get a discount on that as well. I never stayed for the whole day. Plus, it was just me, so I never rented one. The music they play by the pool and pretty much throughout all this Westgate and every Westgate, to me, in my experience, has been like an 80s rock kind of music from like Michael Jackson, you know, Van Halen, uh, Bon Jovi kind of music. It's very fun. Um, the pool itself is beautiful. It's very big. It's the only problem with this pool and all Las Vegas pools is they're not open at night. I think it closed at five or six every day which really wasn't a problem for me. I went back to my room and watched airplanes, <laughs> worked on some videos, had a little snack, went to bed, because in the morning, here we are again. We are here for the opening <laughs> of the monorail. Yeah, I'm a nerd like that. I'm like sitting there waiting for the monorail to open. So I think I was going to MGM Grand this day. So I got a pass for 24 hours that I could just ride the monorail all day long and go check out all the hotels that it connects to. It is truly an amazing way to see the Strip, especially if you're new to Vegas. And if you want to see more about the monorail and how it works and the stations, I made a whole video about it. I will leave it at the end of this video in one of the end screens. Just click on it. It'll take you right to my monorail video. It's really informative, thorough video about all the different stops. Once you arrive at any of the station, one side will be going northbound and one side will be going southbound. That is northbound over there. That is the Sahara Hotel. That is one of the stations. It's the last station as well. take you guys to Fresco. This is their Italian restaurant that opens at 5 p.m. I did have a reservation and they sat me at a table, which I really like. Sometimes when I'm single, they want to put me at the bar. Even if I have a reservation, I'm like, no, I want a table, please. <laughs> it had a really good menu, but I, you know, had been eating all day. So I went with something light. I went with a salad and it was like a grilled chicken on top. It was really good. 
Okay, now we're back at the pool. This is my favorite time of the day to go to the pool. <laughs> it's just a lot of people are leaving, you know, it's closing, first of all. You know, a lot of people have dinner plans and plans to go to the casino and stuff. It's easier for me to film. Plus, there's more stuff up here I want to show you. There's also tennis up here. There's a gym. For me, it was a very well-rounded, solid resort stay. I was disappointed with the whole room feature that I got the hotel room rather than the timeshare, but I quickly got over that. There were so many other great things that was easy to overlook. The only other problem I encountered personally, which is probably not a big deal for some, but it was really big for me, was the Wi-Fi. Um, I, they didn't give it to me because they said because I booked through Interval, they weren't going to charge me the resort fee, which I was thrilled with, but because I didn't pay the resort fee, they also gave me no Wi-Fi. There was times I couldn't even text my family. Like, it was like dead as anything. <laughs> like, I would have to go out to the monorail area to get a signal so I could text my family. So I found that to be a little annoying. Towards the end of the trip, they said if I wanted to pay $15 a day that I could get the Wi-Fi. But I was pretty annoyed by that. But other than that, my stay was fantastic. I really hate saying bad things, but you know, they should just gave me the Wi-Fi. Everything would have been fine. <laughs> All kidding aside, you know, that's my job as someone that makes YouTube channels is just to tell you what's up, you know, whether it's good or bad or I love it or, you know, maybe if I love it, you're not going to like it anyway, but it's important for me to tell you these little things like the internet and the room being a hotel room and not a suite, you know, it's important for people to know these things. So, you know, I'm not trash in the place. I really like it, but I kind of feel like, you know, for people that are interested in going in the future that you have like, you know, the truth, what's going on there. Okay, I'm going to take you guys back briefly to the sportsbook area where they have the takeout places, you know, quick serve, food court, whatever you might want to call it, and show you two different dining experiences I had during the week. Both were good. A little overpriced for what it was. I think Westgate owners get 15% off on food in these places as well. Okay, we still have more to come too. We're going to be going to on the shuttle. Um, my final thoughts on the Westgate is, you know, the monorail, yes, love it. This decor, love it. Um, I found there was like this elegance throughout. I know like I didn't get a lot of the casino. It's hard to film casinos without getting in trouble, but there's like chandeliers. There's just this like old school, just glamour, kind of like a Hollywood Regency kind of style that I totally dig. I love it. If you don't get that, you might not like it. You might feel like it's dated. I don't know. I think it's great. Right now we're at Treasure Island. This is one of the stops the shuttle makes. It makes it a few times a day. I do not have the schedule. Plus they probably change it all the time anyway. But it will take you there and back from Treasure Island, which is a great location. You're right there by Mirage, which is going to be Hard Rock soon. There's also the, sorry, I'm talking so fast, the Venetian and Palazzo right over there good location. It'll take you back to the resort and at night you could also go to Fremont Street. Look in the there. That's Fremont Street. I'm going to be zooming in. You can see it from my room. <laughs> I didn't know this to the end of my trip. I'm like, hey, check that out. That's Circa down there. <laughs> Beautiful view. So just, you know, remember to tip your driver. It's free, but it's always nice to show them some, you know, appreciation. I have a whole video of my Fremont Street um, experience. I will leave that in the playlist at the end of this video. If you want to see all my Vegas videos, click the button and it'll take you to all my Vegas videos that I've made of all different resorts that I've been to and stayed at. My final thoughts in my room. I love the view. It was beautiful. I love the shower. I love the overhead rainfall shower. It was really nice. It took a while for the water to get hot and come up, but once it did, it was beautiful and wonderful. <laughs> really nice. I wish I had this at home. Maybe if I did, I wouldn't have to travel so much. I love the sunrise in the morning. It was so beautiful. On each side of the room, there was a connecting door into another room, which I found out later in the week. I went down to talk to, I, I must have drove them crazy. I was down there all the time asking questions, <laughs> but they said, if you get a two bedroom timeshare through Interval, you literally get two of these that connect. Just good to know. I was really hoping I could get someone to give me a tour so I could film the actual timeshare suites, but unless I sat and do like, you know, the presentation and all that, I don't think that was gonna happen. And I had no time for that on this trip. <laughs> but all in all, I actually liked the room. In the beginning of the week, it was a little noisy with the neighbors. They were having a great time. 
But you know, that's to be expected in Vegas. You don't go to Vegas to relax. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> now it's time to finish packing my bags. I was heading over to Orlando to meet my daughter down there. Oh, I had a fabulous trip. This was 10 days by myself, solo trip in Las Vegas. Dream come true. I've always wanted to do this, to see all the resorts. I'm so proud of myself for doing this. I was scared to death. <laughs> Literally almost canceled for this trip so many times, but I did it and I'm really happy I did. And I cannot wait to go in another two days. Click here if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Get your butt to Vegas. It is awesome. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.